In this video, we are going to learn how you can share RSS feed items on Slack channel. So let's suppose you are running a news channel or an e-magazine and you are updating RSS feeds on a regular basis. Now you want that whenever you update a new feed on a specific website, automatically the feed details should be shared with your team on the Slack channel. For that, you need to integrate RSS with Slack. So here your trigger application would be RSS by Pabli and your action application would be Slack. So how you can integrate both these software applications using Pabli Connect, for that you need to come to my screen. To share new RSS item on Slack, first we need to log into P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pabli.com. This is the website of Pabli. Now if you're a new user, you have to just click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just two minutes and you're going to get free task every month. If you're already a user of Pabli Connect, simply sign in. From the All Apps section, access Pabli Connect. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, click on this plus sign, Create Workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as Share New RSS Items on Slack. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on Create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want to share new RSS items on our Slack channel with our team. For that first, we need to integrate RSS with Pabli Connect. So open this trigger window and here choose the application name as RSS by Pabli. Okay. Here select the trigger event as new item in feed. Click on connect. Now here it is asking for the feed URL. Enter the feed URL over here. Example, the example is also given over here. This RSS trigger will check for the updated RSS feed in every eight hours. Okay. So I'll just take you to my Z News RSS feed over here. And here we can find Z News RSS feeds, the titles as well as their path. So you can select any of the title as per your requirement. In my case, I am selecting the title as technology. So let's copy this particular RSS feed from here. Okay, the path and I'll be just pasting it over here in the feed URL. Okay, and now let's click on save and send test request. So here we can see that the latest response is captured over here. Okay, we can find the creator as Z News. Here we can find the title as Garena Free Fire Redeem Codes for Today. Okay, here we can find the link also. And here we can find some other details like the publishing date, author, comments, content and some other details. Now here I want to give you an important information that here you can see that the data has captured immediately. But sometimes it may take some time in capturing the response as the trigger here is polling based. So if your data doesn't get captured immediately, don't worry about that and please wait for 15-20 minutes patiently. The data will surely arrive. Okay. So now we want this particular title along with the link to be shared with our team on Slack channel. For that, we have to integrate Slack with Pabli Connect. So let's scroll down, come to this action window and here choose the application name as Slack. Select the action event as send channel message. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with Slack. And now here it is asking for the token type. Enter the token type as either user or bot. Know more about the Slack tokens over here. So let's click on the hyperlink. And here we are redirected to the Pabli forum. So you can find all the permissions access for the user as well as for the bot displayed over here. So you can just have a read and you can select it as per your requirement. Okay. I'm just selecting the token type as user in my case. And let's click on save. Now it is requesting for the permission. So let's click on allow to give away the permissions over here. Authorization successful. And now the Slack account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here we have to select the channel name. So I'll just take you to my Slack account where I have already created a channel name RSS feed headlines. You can create a channel as per your requirement by clicking on this plus sign, create a channel. So here you can just give a name to the channel. Its description can be mentioned over here. You can select it as private or public and simply click on create and a channel will get created like this. Okay. So now I want all the RSS feed headlines to be shared on this particular channel. So I'll be selecting the same channel name over here also. That is RSS feed headlines. Now here it is asking for the message. So let us give the message as hello team. And let us give the headlines and 
along with the headlines, I'm just going to give the link also. Okay. So here I'll be just mapping the data which we have already received from a trigger response over here. So in the headlines, I want the title to be displayed and in the link, this particular link should be mentioned. Okay. So let's map it. For mapping, simply click it over here. Come to the response of trigger that is RSS by Pabli and from the drop down, select the title and here I'll be mapping the link. Okay. Now, if you want to mention some uh, image URL or image alt text, you can just give it over here. You can also specify some bot name or bot icon. And now let's click on save and send test request. And here we can see the response is received. It means the message is shared on our Slack channel. Let's check it. And here we can find the same new message. Hello team, headlines are mentioned. Here we can find the link. And here we can see that this is the correct news shared. So let's click on the link and uh, let's check whether the link is correct or not. And here we can find that we are redirected to Z News RSS feed over here. So in this way, we can see that our integration is working fine. Okay. So let's move back to Pabli Connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay. So as we have set up an automation, this is a one time process. Next time, automatically the RSS Z News feeds will be shared with your team on Slack channel. Okay. So now I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between RSS and Pabli Connect so that whenever a new item or a new headline is captured in the feed, automatically the details are captured in Pabli Connect. And then we have shared the same details with our team on Slack channel. And in this way, we have learned that how we can share new RSS items on Slack using Pabli Connect. Thank you. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.